Hey, Slick Talkers, thank you so much for tuning into this podcast, and I know that if you love this show, you'll also love my morning show called Good Morning Hospitality with my co-hosts Michael Golden and Brandy Canale as we spend 30 minutes every Monday morning to dive into the industry's top latest news and trending topics. So go check it out on wherever you find your podcasts at Good Morning Hospitality, and you can live stream with us on Monday mornings on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and of course, YouTube. Now, I hope you enjoy this episode. Welcome to Slick Talk, the hospitality podcast where we discuss all things hospitality, hotels, and business. You can find us online at slicktalkthepodcast.com and on every podcast listening platform. Well, good afternoon, my slick talkers and hospitality professionals. It is Tuesday, 2 p.m. here. Um, I'm excited for this episode of Slick Talk, the hospitality podcast, just because I have a special guest who actually reached out to me via email. And um, today I have the pleasure of introducing Adam Knight, 20 year plus veteran in the hospitality industry, working for high end hotels from the Caribbean to California and also taking some schooling in uh, British Columbia. So, without further ado, introducing this episode of Slick Talk, the hospitality podcast, so you want to become a hotel manager. I'm excited to introduce Adam. Adam, how are you doing today? Well, how about you? Cannot complain. I'm pumped for this episode and just want to say thank you again for reaching out. it has kind of actually helped gave me a or give me a boost to start podcasting again. So I'm really excited for this episode. That's great. Thanks for having me on. It's really great to be here. Yeah, I'm pumped. Um, I kind of wanted to go into a little bit because you've been doing this for about 20 years now from, like you said, a pot washer to general manager and more um, for the last 20 years. And it's kind of funny because the joke that you said, is that you've been doing this longer than you haven't been doing this. And so um, I really want to dive into kind of if, well, for any of our listeners, actually, they're on right now. If you've seen my blog on the slick talk, the hospitality podcast.com, you can kind of see more of Adam's story, but really um, I really want to uh, kind of dive into, let's say your first position, like you said, as a pot washer in the British Columbia hotel scene and up to general manager and on higher positions kind of tell us a little bit what made you go from your first position to say you know what I love washing dishes but I'm just gonna I'm gonna continue this route and go into management I'll try to distill the story because it's a long one you know it covers a little over two decades but you know I um I started yeah as you said as a pot washer in Jasper Alberta at uh, what was the Canadian Pacific uh, Jasper Park Lodge uh, at the time. So this is all the way back in the mid nineties. And oh, wow. the, the one thing that I knew for sure when I finished high school is that I didn't want to go on to, to university, on to college. Uh, I just wanted to get out and work and experience life and just start contributing. So we, uh, as a family growing up, we stayed at this hotel uh, a lot. It's a ski resort, ski destination in the, uh, in the Canadian Rockies. And uh, I applied just uh, out of the blue for a position and, and got hired as a pot washer working the 7 p.m. to 3 a.m. shift. And honestly, I fell in love with it. It was the first time that I had the chance to really work with and get to know people from different parts of the country, uh, different parts of the world, different cultures. And and it was just that much of an eye-opening experience that I really wanted to get as much as I could uh, out of the industry. And, And it really just went from there. Um, worked in Jasper for a little over a year. I moved back to Edmonton, Alberta, where I grew up. Um, took a job as a bellman uh, at a hotel in downtown Edmonton. And then after a few years doing that job, it was uh, it was about time to think about going on to school. So I uh, found this hotel program uh, at Camosun College in Victoria, British Columbia, mm-hmm. Hotel Restaurant Administration. And uh, after, you know, five or so years of being out of school, dove right back in and uh, had an absolutely incredible experience doing that program. You know, I had some real world experience under my belt uh, at that point. So it allowed me to really, I think, get uh, a 
a different understanding of the educational component of this program because I was able to see it in practice uh, with the experience mm-hmm. that I had. And then uh, wrapped that program up after a couple of years, joined up with uh, CP Fairmont again in Calgary, uh, worked on the, uh, the private concierge floor uh, at the property there, the Palliser. And um, that, was a, that was a little over a year, a really great experience. It was my first time really getting my hands into what true luxury experience is all about, really high touch service and what it was like to really craft experiences for guests. And, uh, and after that, I mean, things just really took off. Uh, at the time, the only real international outpost in, um, in CP and Fairmont was uh, Bermuda and Barbados. So I had an opportunity to join uh, with uh, the Hamilton Princess in Bermuda as guest services manager. And that was my first true management uh, position. And things really just took off from there. Um, moved to the U.S. Uh, not long after that. To San Francisco, took on a role uh, in the city. Uh, now I'm actually in San Francisco now, uh, and then moved all over. Went up to Seattle, down to Orange County, out east to Washington D.C. Uh, spent a short amount of time in Pittsburgh. I went to Barbados. I mean, I've really I feel like I've covered the the North American continent pretty well. Oh yeah, um, I was going to say from kind of taking your pot washing experience to school. Um, no, nobody knew that I was going to review the hotel when I was staying there. So it wasn't like I got VIP service or anything. I was treated like every other guest. Um, and so that was nice to see the room was clean. You could definitely tell, um, it wasn't Davenport ready. Um, so I'm excited to go back, you know, after the renovations and the remodel on the rooms, because it's going to be night and day difference. And that's when, um, you're definitely going to be able to tell that, Walt has a gift. This guy, everything he touches uh, pretty much turns to gold. Uh, When he first bought and restored the historic Davenport, um, people said he was crazy. People said he was nuts. There's no way it's going to be a money pit. And uh, he proved him wrong. And here we are, almost 2019, uh, and he's got five hotels, and they're all doing great. So that's just my opinion. This guy turns uh, properties into gold. If you want more detailed, um, you know, notes on my stay there check out the blog on my website slick talk the podcast uh if you're also a consistent listener i just ask that you continue to subscribe to my podcast whether you listen on apple google or spotify that'd be amazing if you're a new listener please subscribe i would love to bring out some more great content to you guys as well as um you can find all the newest updates and podcasts and blogs and information about my consulting company on my website openroadhospitality.com or slicktalkthepodcast.com all go to the same place so it'd be great if i can get some subscribers uh join my website um check out my facebook and everything like that i would love all the support i can get for those who um do listen and have listened before Please, if you have not already heard the episode with me and Adam Knight, I recommend you look at it now because if you're in the industry, this is something that you want to hear. I've been getting some really good feedback um, from people in the industry of hotels, whether it's front desk or marketing or sales or back of house. Uh, They've been getting a lot of really good feedback from them. And I'm just really excited. So um, as we did this episode, So You Want to Be a Hotel Manager, Adam and I really dove into what it takes to be a leader. What's the difference between a leader and a boss um, versus a person sitting at a desk and doing paperwork and actually being in the trenches, serving um, his staff and the guests at the same time. And then now we're creating a series. It's going to be a hotel hospitality series on um, just a couple of different topics, but we're going to really dive into, you know, the difference between hospitality and service along with um, some guests and staff Uh, information, how to onboard new staff members, how to really create a dynamic culture like Ritz Carlton and Hilton and Marriott all have done successfully um, for their employees and their staff members. And especially what you can do for a boutique hotel if you work at one of those or if you're under um, maybe just something that needs a little bit of a a life, a little bit of breath um, into the property and into the culture itself. So I'm really excited. If you guys want to stay tuned, we are emailing and texting back and forth, Adam and I, and getting some stuff done, getting some content written, getting ready to record, and you know, bring you guys some good uh, good news and information. So thank you again for listening to my podcast. I'm super excited. This was a quick episode, quick uh, kind of overview of the Centennial. 
love your guys' feedback. If you're on Anchor, go ahead and shoot me a, a voice message. If you're um, just listening on a different platform, go ahead, email me. My contact information is on the About page on my website. Love it, love it, love it so much. Thank you guys for listening, and I will talk to you guys all very soon. Thank you so much for listening. We love your support and want to provide. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon next week. Thank you for listening. Thank you so much for listening. We love your support and want to provide the best we can to all our listeners. So please find us online, social media, and on Spotify, Apple Podcast, and Google Podcast. What's up, everybody? If you've gotten this far into the episode of Slick Talk, the Hospitality Podcast, then you are amazing, and thank you so much for tuning in. We want to send you two places really quickly. If you can, check out the show notes and click the hospitality.fm link. Check out all of our other shows on the podcast network. And don't forget, if you have someone that you want to hear on the podcast, then fill out the guest fill-out form so that way we can get them on the show. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope you enjoy another episode of Slick Talk, the Hospitality Podcast.